Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to remove a door on BMW E36 whether it's a front door or rear door the principle is the same, so I'm going to show you on a front door don't mind the missing mirror, it doesn't change anything on how to go on about it so, what you'll need ah, a flat screwdriver pliers, the thin tip a hammer and a a 7mm socket and a 10mm socket. You don't even need to take off the door panel. It's quite simple. It's really, anyone can do this. So first of all, we're going to take off this cover. That's where we need the 7mm socket. Nothing complicated about that. There are two screws. Not much space, but once you've loosened the screws, they come out pretty easily. You can just use the socket and take them out. Alright, here's what they look like. Now we can bring this cover back. And this is where we have the, the plug, basically with all the wiring of the door for your speakers, electric mirrors, electric windows and everything. So to unplug this we have to lift this piece. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to bring this back or actually put it this way so we're not too bothered with it. You can also actually bring back that cover. So this is the part we have to lift, so with your screwdriver just lift it like this, and as you lift it, it's going to make the plug come out, just like that. So when you're going to put it back on, align it, push it in. push the thing, this thing down like this and that's how it goes okay so the electric part is done now we have this hinge which is the, the one that keeps your door in the intermediate positions we're gonna have to take out this axe and that's why I use the pliers to push in this small metal part. Okay. There's only one on one side, on, on this side. And now we're just gonna make it come out. side so now you can open a little bit more widely your door okay next step is to take out this screw and this one for this I'm going to use the 10 millimeter socket a flat wrench is fine as well but since there's not much space to Unscrew. It's more convenient to use a ratchet. Alright, here they are. Very easy to take off as soon as you loosen them. And now we're basically ready to unhinge the door. So you see it wasn't really hard for, until now. It's not really hard, but it's just that you have to really pull on the door. But apart from that, Nothing complicated, so just pull up. Don't mind that noise. That was a door panel. Oh, here goes the door. It's 
faire est évident. Just to show you what the hinges look like. This and this one. And the car. We could have unscrewed this. But it's really much easier to, to take off the hinges. And if you take the, these screws off, the door's gonna change its uh, position compared to the car. So you're gonna have to realign it. It's not really complicated, but it's better to be two if you have to do that. To put it back on, it's the exact opposite. Just realign the door and put it back into its hinges. That was the hardest part, just because it's heavy. But you're probably tougher than me, so you should manage without any problem. So as you saw, that was an easy job. Anyone can do it, remember that, as long as you're not afraid of getting your hands dirty. Not even that dirty. It's really a simple task. So, see you next time and have fun. <laughs>